Hey guys, welcome back. So I've been doing a lot of uh, thinking and reflecting on the past several years of my life recently and um, thinking about those things that life has, has taught me, um, not only through my experiences, but through the experiences of other people that I've, I've observed. And, um, you know, recently there's one in particular that as, as time goes on, I've noticed that it's, it's become a little bit more important in my life. It's become a little bit more important that I control. So, as we're all aware, um, our emotions can play a really huge role in our life. Um, it affects the way we think. It affects our actions. It affects, you know, the decisions we make. And you know, many times, those decisions and actions um, that result from our emotions, um, you know, the effect that they have on what we do, um, can really it can really push us to make the wrong decisions at times. It can really push us to do the things that we actually shouldn't do. Or it can actually, um, you know, make us not do the things that we actually need to do. Um, you know, those decisions that we need to make. Sometimes our emotions can prevent us from doing it. It can, it can, you know, put us in this sort of paralyzed state where, you know, we're so fearful of the outcome or, or what effect is going to have on us or what effect is going to have on other people that, um, you know, we sometimes don't act. So, um, you know, as, as I've looked back, I've, I've sort of thought about many of, you know, the situations that I've been in, many of the, you know, experiences that I've had and how my emotions really played a, a huge role in that, you know, sometimes positively and sometimes in a negative way. Um, so, you know, for example, I, I went through a, uh, a breakup that um, was really, really rough for a, a period of time and it wasn't the first time that, you know, this sort of thing has happened um, where, you know, it sort of happened all of a sudden, you know, I, and I won't go into to details about this, but, you know, I found myself being at, at work and, you know, being in this slightly paralyzed position or, you know, I've had many tasks to do. And, um, you know, I found it really hard to do those things, you know, I, I, I like to describe it as I was in this state where I could really feel like the numbness inside of me. And, um, you know, it really made, made things difficult. It made it hard to get through the day. Um, but, you know, mentally, I was there always telling myself, man, you have to you have to get control of this. You have to 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 get out of this state. You have to push through this. You have to you know, you have things that you have to do. You have to you know, you have to get up and do them. Um, you know, don't let this drain you. When you go home, continue to work on what you're working on. Continue to do those things that you you said before that you have to do. Um, you know, you can't be paralyzed by this. So, you know, doing that, you know, sort of speaking to myself and, and, and trying to get control of the situation is a really good thing to do. That's that's something I believe that we all should try to do. You know, it's, it's very difficult and of course it's easier said than done, especially when you're in that moment. Um, it's, it's very difficult to do. But it's something that can make a, a really big difference. You know, sometimes it may not seem like it, but just boosting ourselves and, and you know telling ourselves we have to get back up can make a huge difference. You know, keeping us from sinking any any further below. So, you know, um, as we're finding in life, as I said before, you know, we have things that we have to do. We have decisions that we have to make. You know, on our jobs, we may find ourselves very angry at our boss or you know those that are delegating us tasks and. Um, you know, we sort of get resentful. We we sort of don't want to do the work, or we, you know, we want to say certain things to them that we perhaps shouldn't say. Um, and and this is where it's it's really important to get control of your emotions. You know, because sometimes you can say that wrong thing, and um, you know, it can make the situation a lot worse. You can get fired. You can cause a a a a, a, a a tense relationship between you and your boss, your manager, that can go on and just make life and work even more difficult. Um, one of the things that I've, I've, I've always tried to tell people um, is that, you know, there are certain things that just aren't going to make the situation any better. Um, you know, those those bad decisions to say things that we may think may temporarily make us feel better to make someone else feel bad, they're not going to make the situation any worse. Um, as I spoke before with that, um, you know, that the way that relationship before ended, if I had of, um, you know, got angry or got to a point where I was holding a grudge or, um, you know, saying bitter things to the other person, it was not going to benefit either of us, you know. It was not going to benefit either of us, and it wasn't going to, 
necessarily make me feel better. It was going to make me even worse than that person, you know. So sometimes you have to really step up and be the bigger man. You have to be the bigger her woman <laughs> um, in the situation. And, you know, that it, it applies to many different situations. So, you know, just you have to make sure that you're not paralyzed by those emotions. Sometimes it's important to actually turn them off. And, um, you know, when we can use those emotions to our advantage, then, you know, we want to, we, we, it's good to be consumed by them. Uh, not necessarily consumed, but still in control. But, um, you know, it's good to use them as a driver. You know, after difficult situations, sometimes that difficult situation can just give us motivation, drive to be something great. Um, you know, for me, I always say the best, the best revenge after, you know, towards someone who's done something negative to you. For example, if someone's, um, you know, unfaithful in a relationship, the best revenge for that is to be successful. The best revenge is to go after something in life, go after something, go out, um, you know, be successful, experience things. That is the best revenge to get back up on your feet and hit the ground and do something great in life, you know. Um, so when you can use those those negative situations as a driver, as a fuel to do better, then, you know, you're taking advantage of them. Um, you know, of course, don't be consumed by them, but take advantage of them. Use them to your advantage. Sometimes if you can't necessarily turn them off, morph them in a way that can um, benefit you. Because um, there are many ways, in, in whatever situation it is, there are many ways that you can morph that uh, that negative side of things and those, those horrible emotions and use them to your advantage. So um, I don't want to let this video get too far out of hand, but that is the point. Um, you know, use your emotions um, in a way that can benefit you. Sometimes, you know, maybe it's good to turn them off. If you can turn them off, that is great. Because certain situations, those emotions just simply aren't going to benefit us. If we can not necessarily turn them off, but we can ignore them or we can, you know, get through them in a way that we don't think about them as much. And that's a lot better. Or if we can use them as a fuel, that's even better. But, you know, there are some emotions we'll, we'll feel very joyful of course those are the good things there are some that will make us cry there's some that will just destroy us we'll be angry at other people but just think about this um what benefit to you is it going to be to continue to be consumed by anger continue to be consumed by sadness i always say that it's good to it's good to um you know take your time to reflect it's good to sort of sometimes it's good to embrace those emotions sometimes it's good to to um, experience them, to go through them, to not necessarily fight them off, just to take time, just put off a little time block during our day to just think about them, just to to, to be in them. Um, and at the end of that little session, um, you know, we got to get back up and we got to get back moving. So guys, that's really all I want to talk about. Um, use your emotions to your advantage. If you can turn them off in those negative situations where they're not going to benefit you, then hey, more power to you. That is actually a good thing to be able to do. You know, don't be driven to the point um, that you make every decision based off of your emotions. Get some thought in it sometimes as well. You know, there are some decisions our emotions will lead us to making that will be horrible. There will be other ones that could possibly be the best decision that we've made in life. So there's no, there's no direct relationship. There's no direct um, guarantee that one is going to lead to an exact outcome. You know, it's 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 it depends on the it, it depends on the, you know the situation the basis of things. So guys, I uh, hope that you've enjoyed this video. As always, if you're enjoying the content, then I hope you stick around for more, and I'll see you next time.